obviously I'm making this video right after my cat video. I'm so happy because I got my pills from the doctor. So I actually have been able to sleep at night. These pills are amazing. Like I have Telenol PM and I have a uh, what do you call it? Um, Z quilt. But the way that they put you to sleep is a bit different. Like you can feel your body being pulled into sleep, but it's a very unnatural, gross feeling. With this, it's like everything gets fuzzy. Like I can't really hear and I get woozy. And then it's just like, oh, whoa, I could sleep. And and I get to sleep and I, I, can, I can like move and my, my chest doesn't hurt anymore. And it's just, it's this amazing feeling. Like, oh my God, I love it so much. So he gave me 30 pills, so it's good for another two weeks of sleep. So I'm super happy about that. The doctor told me that I have got another probably six to eight weeks of pain ahead of me. I thought he'd say maybe, oh, you've got maybe another week or two and everything should be fine. But no, I've got another six to eight weeks. So I'm not looking forward to that at all. Sorry. Um... I haven't been around as much lately because I've just been really enjoying my time with Josh. Whew. Uh, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> um, <clears throat> he, uh, as you know, he was working really hard over the Christmas holidays and we didn't see much of each other because his work schedule was fucking crazy. So now he gets, you know, his normal days off and we've been just watching shows together like I got him into um, Stranger Things so we watched all of Stranger Things all of Wayward Pines working on Doctor Who and Supernatural at the moment and we are watching Adventure Time as well so you know we've got those little things to kind of keep us busy we've also got two kitty cats I mentioned in my other video um, when I make a video with him I will introduce them we were going to make a New Year's video but the thing is is because he was working, the liquor stores closed, and so he wasn't able to get the proper alcohol. What he got was like kind of like beer, and I can't drink beer. It makes me sick. I tried, and I drank like, I don't know, four bottles or something and over the course of the night, and it just made me sick. It made me sick before it could make me feel drunk, so that he didn't did work out. He did go and bring me this beautiful set. I think I've got a picture. But he brought me this beautiful set of a tequila rose and I thought that was the sweetest thing. He brought it the very next day and I was like, oh my god, that is so sweet. And so uh, we haven't done it yet, but we were going to sit around and get drunk at some point. It's just uh, without my pills, I haven't been able to sleep and so I've been like tired and I knew it would just make me feel sick and I didn't want to waste it feeling sick. I want to, you know, be able to drink and be happy and just goofy and properly drunk, not like, oh, I want to throw up kind of drunk. So um, we've got that chilling in the fridge. Um, I'm thinking about moving my room around. I kind of want, like I want to have a nice backdrop to my videos. Now I've got this light that I haven't, I haven't used um, lately. I've got my little ring light that he bought me and I kind of just want like this nice kind of area. So I might, hopefully you'll see a different background at some point if I can find a place to, you know, set everything up. I'll, probably have my pillows with me regardless because I need it from my back and all that good stuff. Um, somebody really sweet sent me uh, a late, well, not too late, but it was kind of a late Christmas present. A couple of late Christmas presents did trickle in and I will put together a video at some point of all those so that I could say a proper thank you to everybody. I probably won't remember names as such at this point because everything's kind of fucked up at the moment. I don't really know where I put stuff. I've just been in like a daze of pain except for the last like two days and so I've opened stuff and I've moved stuff and I've you know we've kitten proofed the house and things like that and so um just don't really know where the packages are with people's names on it so I'm really sorry ahead of time if I do forget your name. Also Josh's dogs vanished. Um they wandered off maybe three weeks ago. I don't know where they went. He's been going crazy looking for them. Like, first the big black one left, and we don't know where he went. He walked all up and down the road. He looked in the ditches. He drove all over the area. He went to all the neighbors. Nobody knows where he is. 
and the little one was here and then I petted him sat down with him and then he just up and wandered off too like that same day right after I petted him he just took off and he hasn't been back either so nobody knows where they went or what happened um Personally, I think that they just wandered off to the next home because I, I I think I told you guys that the way that he got them in the first place was they just wandered into his yard one day. They just kind of wandered in and decided they wanted to live there and stay and they stayed. He was always outside smoking. He was always outside with them. And when I came here and it got colder and then the accident happened, we've been inside more than outside and maybe they just got kind of like all right, well, we're not getting enough attention on to the next place. And they moved on to the next place. That's the only thing I can think of because the big white dog, the beautiful white one, he does that. Like if I'm not outside, me personally, if I'm not outside with him enough, he'll just like take off and he won't come back for a couple, like a couple of days, maybe a week or two. And then he'll pop in again. But if I'm outside with him more often, he's here quite often. So he, he just loves attention. And, uh, ooh, sorry. He came by the other day when it was really, really cold and I mean, it was freezing. Our, our taps froze, the water outside froze. It was, it was freezing cold. And this white dog shows up with a mini pack of dogs with him. And it was the coolest thing ever because I know he knows that he comes here and he can get fed because that that's just what we do. And these are not his puppies. They were dogs of all ages all sizes and he led them all here and we fed them all and it was like he brought his little friends here on the coldest fucking night to give them food it was just the most amazing like wow kind of moment you know there was a a little brown and white hound dog she came back with him so i've got a little thing here to show the beautiful white dog is here again, and he has a little friend with him, but I don't know where the little friend went. Little puppy. I wonder if he's around back eating. Oh, there he is. He's a little girl doggy. So I don't really have any dog food for them, but I've got some wet food here. Hey! Here you go. Hold on, boy. There you go. Oh, you're going to take the whole can with you, huh? All right. Look at the pretty boy. You are so pretty. You are so pretty just laying there. Oh, I'm gonna go say hi to you. You're so pretty too. I don't know who you are. Oh, you poor little thing. <laughs> I know you're so cute. Oh, you want love. Oops, it just made me hit you in the head. Hey, boy. Oh. Look at you. Oh, don't sneeze on me. You sneezed on me. Mm. Little big old paw. Jesus, you are a big boy, aren't you? Tummy, 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 tummy. <laughs> Woo! I think you were in a fight. Look at your face. You need to stop fighting. Look, she likes you. Look at you, too. Are you allergic to me? Look at your big old nose. <laughs> oh. oh, you're a pretty boy. I love your ears. I love your white fur. You are so friendly, aren't you? You could turn around and take a huge chunk right out of my arm if you wanted to, but I know you won't do that. You're such a big baby. You could just lay there and get patted all day long, couldn't you? Ooh, just shocked myself. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna follow me? Oh, you gumming me, huh? Look at how big you are. You are such a big doggy. And then it was um, a black and white puppy, 
two brown puppies and it was uh, an adult dog that looks like he had been in a dog fight because his muzzle was completely scratched up. He was all torn up and bleeding and he was shivering and he was trying to come inside the house and I don't know. I don't know where these dogs came from, but I know he definitely brought them here. They There's no other reason for those dogs to have been with him unless he brought them here and nobody knows how dogs are, how they communicate, but that was the first time I've ever seen anything like that. And me and Josh were both like, wow, that was really cool. Um, so uh, I'm not sure how much I will be uploading or online because I'm just really enjoying being with him. I'm not really doing much online lately. I'm just, I play my game and that's about it. I just, being online has lost uh, most of its charm for me. It has a long time ago, but even more so now. And when he's not here, I cook, I clean, you know, I don't really like eating out. I like cooking. I, I prefer to eat my own food than going out and eating. There are a couple places I do like to eat out at, but overall I'd much prefer my own food. And, um, when he's here, I just, every moment we just want to spend it together and being online isn't important like it used to be. And uh, I knew it was inevitable. It would happen at some point. I just didn't know when or what it would take. And obviously this is what it took was me to have somebody that, you know, wants to spend time with me and stuff. And so, yeah, it's a great feeling, <laughs> but, uh, I've got a lot of work ahead of me. I don't know if you guys can hear it de -de 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 in the background. That's um, the washing machine beeping because I turned the water off. So I'm going to go and finish doing the laundry. And I've got like the bed unmade because I need to I need to make the bed, do the laundry. And I'm going to make a pizza and go feed the kitty cats. And um, start converting and trying to upload this mess because it takes days to upload shit. But uh, I will see you guys soon. Hopefully, Josh and I can get together and like sit down and make some videos. Usually it's because when it's his day off, I don't like to bother him and say, Hey, can you, you know, make a video with me? He's he's all for it, but I just feel bad. I still want to do the, um, the kiss test, the lipstick comparisons. Um, this is uh, Kat Von D, and it's her studded kiss lipstick in um, Outlaw. I think it's like one of my favorite colors. It's like a real bright red, but it's not kiss proof at all. Her everlasting lipsticks and the the lip pencils are not really kiss proof either. I can pretty much already tell you, I think Jeffree Star is going to win that, but it'll be a fun test. So I don't mind doing it. <laughs> um, it's just, yeah, we just need to get our stuff together, get it sorted. And then, and then we'll start uploading again. I just, uh, please bear with me. And, um, I will see you guys soon. I hope you guys have been having a great new year and I will see you. Bye. Oh, P.S. As somebody has written me and asked me, a couple of people have written me and asked me, um, yes, I did dye my hair. This isn't my wig. I know I've got a wig that looks just like this, but this is, this is my hair. I've, I've, I went ahead and did the half and half. I'm going to ease it into black and green into black and blue. So, uh, hopefully if everything works out for me and Josh, when we go to get married, we're, we're probably going to have a black and blue wedding or a white and blue wedding, but there's going to be blue in there because blue's his favorite color. And, um, at that time I want my hair to be blue on this side again. Uh, I mean, it looks blue, but it's not, it's green, but it's like a greeny kind of blue, but uh, I'll do black and blue for him. And, um, then I might go back to green or I might keep the blue. It depends, but I kind of, like, I kind of feel weird having black hair again. Like, I'm not used to it. Like, I know I said that last time, but I'm really not used to having black again. And my hair is at this weird length because it's grown out quite a bit. So it's like, since I've been here, my hair is just like poof and it's just grown out. So I can't even style it the way I used to. It's just kind of hanging there. And um, so I thought, eh, it's long enough to do it. So I split it. So to answer that question I've gotten that I've ignored in the past, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not a wig. It's, this is my hair. <laughs> Bye again.